grafting right here. These guys are skilled with a knife beyond belief. Um, this is the Rodiger Tranche P7 uh, Petite Syrah that we're now budding. They're putting a stick of Petit Verdot. So this is a graft over here. They make a slice right down through the cambium layers of the xylem and phloem. And then insert a bud at this time in the spring and as they heal the it's called the meristem cells, the single layer cells grows together and they eat graft, make a union and most of the time, very high uh, high percentage of the time they get a good graft and then these we train these buds up, take off the old suckers and these will still be uh, petite Syrah down here and the new stuff will be petite Verdot. This is field budding, chip, chip bud graft. So it's called the chip because it just the bud looks like a little chip that comes out. So he makes that slice right down in there, right down through the, and they do it at an angle there to catch all the layers. There's that just that single cell of layers there down through the cambium. And these guys are the masters. tapes on there to hold them real tight, keep them from drying out. And then uh, we have to really watch the water close, so it's too much water will push these buds off. And so it seems like every year we graft something. We're always trying to keep up with the markets and this is a fairly cost effective way. So one year off, off of production, we train this up this year and we're back in the next year. So it's uh, as opposed to a a new planting would take up to three years to get into production. So they, they pick the buds that they want, hopefully not distract them too much and take his finger off. I always watch these guys amazing and I'd be cutting my hand right there. So he, sometimes he doesn't like the bud, so he's gonna, he's gonna pick the best. That's what these guys are just skilled. They, they pick the size, just how they cut cut and the size of the wood that they like. So too small, they don't like, too big, but uh, they kind of like the bigger wood. Yeah. When they do bench craft in the nurseries, they like real small wood. Uh, it tends to be more like a pencil size because they they graft onto a small rootstock. And they're doing young vines. Yeah. So we sell bud wood and they, the bud wood we collect for this, we try to pick different size of wood depending on how far out it is on the, So we collected all this wood from our own vineyards, uh, just in P10, mm -hmm. and um, put it in, that's where I was coming back from today. I had to go to the cold storage place we use uh, over by Yuba City. And they're another nursery that we sold wood to. And then, so we have had them use their cold storage to keep this nice and cold has to, mm -hmm. until, until we use it. So we collected it in the winter when we were pruning mm -hmm. uh, and then keep it real cold like they keep it just above freezing just so these buds stay moist and and cold so they don't push and as long as they're green and everything i mean you could take one of these sticks put it in the ground and essentially grow a new vine without wouldn't be a grafted rootstock but yeah it does it does look like a wounded uh triage here with the <laughs> the, the bandages over their head but these, yeah, this will be a big, it'll take a while. It takes uh, three, four weeks or so, and then you'll start seeing these buds push. Mm -hmm. But it takes a while for them to grow together, and you don't have to be patient. Yeah, so you see the, the sap bleeding out of the top. This was a fresh cut here just a couple days ago. And, and so you see it running down the vine. So this water's being, these are like just a, a sieve pulling water out of the ground, and so, will leave, as you see, not too many on this one, but you'll see a lot of suckers. They leave these to just disperse the water that's coming out. So there's too much water flow and they'll just pop that bud off there. And then we'll eventually come back and sucker all these and leave all this out of here. 